So my name's Celia and I'm a professor in the psychology department at Exeter. Reflect Seed has been a project that's been going on for the past nine months where we've been talking to local groups and working with them as psychologists and our artists have also been working with them um, to put together um, a weekend of art and light and sound. Um, and some of my colleagues have been doing research looking at mental health in coastal communities which was that actually a lot of things are quite difficult about living in coastal communities. They're geographically isolated, it's quite hard to access services. So what we wanted to do was have a really kind of deep uh, look at people's actual experiences of living by the sea. And we thought a great way of doing that would be working as psychologists with community groups, but also bringing artists, um, because they seem to have a great way of looking at people's subjective experiences and showing us and giving us new insights. So we've been talking to people over these past nine months about how they feel about living by the sea and we want to try and find some topics to research and ideally try and design an intervention that would work within this community. So that's my kind of aim is to increase people's well-being here in Bude. Thank you for building this, it's beautiful and it's lovely to watch over to the sea. Thank you, bye. So what do you think of this, isn't it? Yeah, that. No, I'm not doing it. your memories of me. The sea, for me, is a source of profound and deep inspiration. My name's Ethan. Um, I'm local to Bude. Uh, I've been involved in the project as a, a person with uh, lived experience of mental health and mental health difficulties, just using that experience, engaging with the artists and trying to share my my experience really. Well, I think the first thing that, that the Reflex project has done is actually create a specific opportunity for people to talk about mental health. So in a society where mental health and mental illness is still very taboo, having the, the project actually be in place and say we're going to provide the opportunity to think and talk about mental health, the very fact of it existing uh, breaks down barriers, which is really important. One thing the, the project has, has done, which I think is really important and really helpful, is it's brought together people from very different disciplines and backgrounds. Um, local people, uh, academics, artists, internationally renowned artists, and has created connections. Come down to the sea with me. Come down to the sea with me. Down to the O to the, down to the O to the, down to the sea with me. Come down to the sea. I'm Ulf Pedersen, I'm a light artist based in Bristol. Karma Seas is my response to the Reflect Bude Pool project. Um, I just like quite like that play on words with the effect that the sea has on people, and that's been as a result of the feedback from the volunteers that I've been receiving. The Volunteers were asked what the sea means to them. I am basing a, um, a light-based project in View Sea Pool where I am illuminating and animating the beach huts which have installations taking place in them. So when you stand at the wall of the sea pool, you look back onto the, um, the facade of the beach huts and they will be animated with, with moving lights. And to the left of that, on the cliff face, will be projected statements and brief words from the volunteer feedback. The, the response has been phenomenal um, and I guess it's, it's really stressed me the importance of working with public engagement programs where you are working with the local community. Um, but they've, they've totally inspired it. Most of the um, feedback that's been received has been very positive. So it seems that the overarching theme from those that live by the sea with uh, mental health issues, uh, the sea definitely has a positive effect on their uh, well-being. The art that people have created, that the artists have, have produced, mm. actually feeds back into the conversations that people have been having and helps people to think and, on um, what it means to be part of community and what it means to connect and be connected to one's own experience and one's environment. We sail on the sloop John B, my grandpappy and me, around our salt and we did roll. Overall it's 
been amazing and I personally have learned a lot um, and seeing the actual culmination of it in the art um, exhibits that are here in the sounds art has given me loads of new questions and given me lots of new insight into, um, into the way the sea affects people's mental health. So I think that was the aim partly, so it's been a great process for me. Oh, it was magical, it was lovely. Yeah, the visuals were phenomenal, weren't they? It was really good. And the quotes as well on the wall were fantastic. Yeah. Well, I came tonight, didn't know what to expect, and uh, I was entranced, really, with all the beach huts lit up as it was. I've not seen the pool like that before. So thanks for doing it. For this is my Eden, and I'm alone. For this is my Cornwall, and this is my...